Let's imagine that your design consultancy specialises in the provision of pots. It's a good idea to try out your SketchUp pot models in a little simulated courtyard environment such as you see here. And we think it's a really good idea to include a sense of scale and uh, the table and chairs just does just that. It gives the viewer some idea of scale. What we'd like to run through now is to show how easy it is in SketchUp. We suggest you start a brand new SketchUp file, uh, use the circle tool and just draw a circle at the origin um, with diameter the same diameter as you intend for the pot. So we'll type 175. Then select the circle and the face and use the move tool and move it down out of the way. Move it down in the blue axis. Next pick the rectangle tool again at the origin. Move up on the blue axis and draw uh, a rectangle a little higher and wider than the base of that pot. At this stage, switch to a side view, and what we're going to do is draw in this face the shape that we want to rotate around that base. The base is going to be used as a follow me tool, as I hope to show now. Let's keep the pot really simple. I like to pick the line tool and draw a line of the 175 in this case the diameter of the pot and I'll reset then pick the arc tool and pick up should be able to pick up the end of that line and I'll come up to um, around this point here and then bend things out to form the beginning of the profile we'll put a rim on ours and we'll come out in this direction and do something like that to make the rim. Then we'll pick the line tool up again, draw from that end point back across to the blue axis, down here again and to there. Now we still have this arc that's not quite set the way we want it. So we'll use our line tool, pick it up there and come down to that intersect. Then we should have our profile because we can remove that. And if we pick here, we've got a face. I'll take the opportunity just to kill the extremity of our rectangle that we popped up in that vertical plane. That was just to assist us in drawing the profile easily. Now we can make the pot very easily. First thing is to zoom in on your circle. That's the path that this tool over here, the follow me tool is going to take. So we pick the follow me tool and pick. There's our pot being drawn and we can look at it in ISO view. And we're done. There's our pot. Well, here we are in our model courtyard, and if we use our select tool, we can pick the last pot that we've just been working on. So you can see it's very quick and easy to generate your own quiver of pots, if that's the phrase for it, and test them in your little model courtyard.